Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a favourite, favourite recipe of mine and it's called Jolla Fries. Now Jolla Fries is basically rice cooked in a nice and rich tomato sauce with lots of herbs and spices and absolutely delicious. Also be serving up with some baked chicken and some salad. It's a West African dish. Now this is my version to it and some of you might be familiar with this recipe, some of you might not, but hopefully you find this very useful. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time guys, bye. <laughs> Okay, slice the top half of the onions and slice it in half. And I'm just going to peel off the first layer of the onions and then dice. Make sure you guys are using a sharp knife just so you don't cut yourself or anything. Now I'm taking about four tomatoes and I'm just dicing them and adding them to the blender, including my peppers, my scotch bonnet and my sweet bell pepper. Now just take off these white bits of the bell pepper because you don't need them and they do taste quite bitter sometimes. And I'm just going to add all of that to my food processor and blitz like you can see here. Now make sure you do this for about 30 to 40 seconds and it becomes liquid. Now we're just going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil. I like to use vegetable oil because it fries. That's what we want. So just add your chopped onions to the pot with the oil inside and make sure this is about medium to high heat. Now you can see here the onions are just frying. Now you want this in medium heat just so the onions can sweat properly. Now mix and add your Maggi. This is Maggi sauce. I usually use Maggi cubes, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to add. And then add about a teaspoon of curry powder. My favourite is actually Dums Rivers or River Dums. I'll say this, but I'll leave it in the link down below. And just mix lightly. And then add your salt. <laughs> followed by your tomato puree. Now I need to use this because I'm using fresh tomatoes. Now you need about two tablespoons or a tablespoon and then some all-purpose seasoning. Now this is great seasoning for, and it gives it a very nice flavor. And just mix all of that together. Now you can see that the tomatoes and the onions are frying blissfully. <laughs> of course I'd say that for a second. Now just stir lightly and you're gonna stir for about three two to three minutes and then add your blended tomatoes into the mix now you're just going to mix lightly and make sure that all of it is mixed together add your bay leaves i'm using about three some all-purpose seasoning cover and leave to cook for 20 minutes on medium to low heat now we're moving over to our rice now I'm using basmati rice here and I'm just going to wash it in some lukewarm water. Now this will help to slightly soften the rice and I think that would make it cook quicker. Once the 20 minutes is up, you'll be able to tell that the stew is cooked because you'll have a slightly redder colour. It's now time to add our rice. and then mix it into the tomato sauce. You can see it looking ever so nice. Okay guys, now I've just mixed it in and I'm just about to get my chicken stock. Now this is the secret ingredient, I think, for the perfect jollof rice. Now we're just gonna mix it nicely and make sure that all of this is covered in and the tomato really seeps in to the rice. Okay, so now I'm going to use the nor chicken stock. I absolutely love this. And what you need is about a tablespoon and a half in a litre of water. And just pour that over the rice. So now we're just going to cover it and leave it to simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes on low heat. Once the five minutes is up, I'm just come to check on the rice and I'm using the fork to lightly stir it. This will stop it from sticking together and I'm going to cover it with some cling film 
and leave it to cook for another five to ten minutes and this is a great way to actually steam the rice once the 10 minutes is up this is what your rice would look like and i'll be showing you guys how to make baked chicken and salad in another video but thank you guys for watching all the details will be in the description box below so welcome back to my channel <laughs> what the hell is that i know it's to be making seven minutes some baked chicken and some salad and why am i doing this i don't know so let's get cooking <laughs> mm <laughs>